about 200 people from our communities, from Roxbury and Dorchester and Mattapan and Jamaica Plain, from Boston's communities of color, came together in this wild experiment. Who in this room is planning to make a loan to support a business today? Can you please raise your hand? Ford and Bike School, A. B, Fidalgo Wholesale. C, Fresh Food Generation. D, Normus Catering. E, Sydney, JD Design. Online, we are now 91% funded. We raised $10,000 in three days. 200 people from across the communities came together to decide what to do with that money. Five businesses from our communities pitched their ideas and talked about not just why they were good business investments, but also what they were doing already to support the, the growth and the well-being of our community. My dream is to have my own restaurant so people in the community can go and enjoy food and relax and have a good time. We are a youth employer. We do whatever the people ask us to do. I see a vision that I'm able to expand and have seafood. Ujima is trying to create something new, a grand community dream and experiment that helps us answer the question, um, what would a people's economy look like if we designed it and created it and nurtured it um, ourselves? Like a lot of people, particularly black people from the inner city, I was not thrilled about the prospect of engaging with traditional banking and traditional lending, so I did not do it. Finding out about the efforts of community members like me to leverage pools, lending sources, to take a bit of the fear and the anxiety and hesitance away from lending, period, and actually engage people of color with good ideas and get money into their pockets in a way that's palatable and that we could actually get with. Uh, I was so on board. Ujima is not only filling the gap where the conventional market's dollars wouldn't go, they're going way, way beyond it. To have a democratic economy means that the control and the direction of our dollars shifts from the 1% into the hands of the 99%. I don't live in some fortress on a hill. I live right here. If I'm not doing everything possible that I can to uplift and engage youth and formerly homeless people and incarcerated folks and marginalized people who are generally shut out of the economy, I feel like I'm not doing my job as a community organizer or an entrepreneur. When you're in the zone of, of what if you know, imagining what's possible and then actually getting a chance to do something tangible to realize your goal. There's something about that that's, um, that's life-giving, it's inspiring.